everyone. So I wanted to do a quick run through of the lunge to warrior three, which is the standing balance exercise. It's a great exercise for building strength in the glutes, for creating length down the back of the legs through the hamstrings, but also for challenging your balance. And the main muscles that help with balance are these outer hip muscles. That's what helps to keep the pelvis nice and stable and keeps us kind of centered in our posture. So we start the position by standing with the feet together and then we just take the right foot forward into a lunge. So it doesn't need to be a big long lunge. In fact, I would encourage you to keep it quite shallow so that you can really feel both feet are nice and centered into the ground. From this position, hands come onto the hips. We give the pelvis a little bit of a tuck to feel the hip bones start to lift upwards. And then we start to take the pelvis into the opposite direction. So now the hip bones start to tip forward. As the hips come forward, that right buttock is floating upwards. So really feeling the sit bone kind of reaching back and then lifting up towards the sky. To come out of this position, we just change direction of the pelvis. So now rather than the sit bone floating up, it slides down that back wall it rolls along the floor and it's almost as if you're trying to bring your sit bone closer to the front knee. So we really want to get that action of the pelvis kind of tipping in each direction. So often when I teach this class, I'll encourage people to put a hand on the buttock. So in this instance, it would be the right buttock. And then as the body tips forward, really feel that you're using that hand to kind of draw the sit bone back, reach the buttock back and then lift it up to really create that nice lengthening through the back of the pelvic floor. So we do that a couple of times. We stay focused on pushing the front foot firmly down into the ground. And then on the third or fourth time, we stay in the position. So I'm staying nice and long through my center. I've got a long line from the crown of the head to the tip of the tail but I'm still thinking about that right sit bone floating upwards. My chest is looking more down to the floor, but I'm not rounding my spine to get into that position. But I've still got that long line. And then once I'm in this position, I bring that back foot in just a little bit. So it's not, going over, it's not a big dramatic kind of leap through, through with that leg. It's more about focusing on the standing leg pushing down so that back foot can just come in a little bit with control, okay? And then from here, we start to lift off to balance. Now, the focus as we balance is we're really trying not to just throw the body forward to bring us up. Again, as you push the standing foot into the earth, the pelvis tips forward a little, that back leg lifts. It doesn't need to lift very high. It can be here, it can come higher if that feels manageable. We've still got that sense of the sit bone floating up to the ceiling and then to come out of it with control we bring the sit bone down the back foot lands nice and light and we step the feet together you should be able to feel after doing just one side that your body is quite imbalanced so i can definitely feel just after that one round that my right side feels a little bit heavier to the floor i feel a bit more stable in this right foot so i'll go through the other side just to balance things out left foot steps forward right foot comes back hands are on the hip bones we bring the tail under lifting those hip bones upwards almost like you're trying to draw them towards your bottom ribs and then we roll them down as if we're pointing them now to the floor and we do that a couple of times again as the hips are moving there's that sense of the left buttock swinging back and up and then rolling down and forward I'm pushing firmly into my front foot that heel is driving down through the floor this time as I come forward I bring the spine with me so again the spine is just responding to the movement of the pelvis it's not changing shape it's not rounding or arching it's just coming forward because the pelvis has swung back then I scoop that left sit bone underneath me and that brings the spine up so a couple of rounds of this part of the movement is really useful just again to feel that connection into the left buttock. I've got hay fever so apologies for the nose sniffling. 
and then rolling it on vertically back up. This is the part where the pelvic floor is lengthening. So as I reach that sit bone back, I'm almost driving it away from the back of the knee. That's creating that nice stretch through the hamstring into the back of the pelvic floor. So from here, this is our takeoff position. Again, we just let that back foot hop in lightly with control, taking care not to let the front knee kind of collapse forward. We want to keep it over the foot. The back foot hops in. As we push down into the standing leg, we get a little bit more stability in this side. That left sit bone lifts just a little higher to allow the right leg to lift. Again, it doesn't matter where the right leg goes. If balance is too challenging, you can still feel all the effects of this posture with the right leg down on the floor. Okay, so this is not about what the back leg's doing, it's really about the standing leg. And then again, to come out of it, we roll that left sit bone down and under, down and under, down and under. The back leg just lands lightly. We swing the body back and we step the feet together. Okay, so hopefully you should feel a definite firing up in the bum area with that exercise. But give it a go, let me know how it feels. And as always, if you've got any questions, just give me a shout.